Good morning, everybody <laughs> from Stone Ridge. Oh my goodness, the bag's under my eyes. <laughs> that was not a flattering <laughs> angle. Uh, and just wondering if there was some way that we could we could do this a little bit better, but I can't. I <laughs> physically around. can't stand or sit rather um, like this. So <laughs> is it the back of eight o'clock local time morning? I don't know. Half eight. <clears throat> Half eight. Okay, so I've been up for two hours and have been working. Katie's been sleeping. To be fair, I did go to sleep earlier than you. Yeah. Because <laughs> just all of a sudden it's like, whoosh, right, okay, I'm tired now. Um, so come, kind of come up a little bit closer here. Good morning. We're still in Stone Ridge. We are, I think, officially living our best lives right it's now. Incredible. Would you Absolutely agree? Incredible. Um, yeah. this, this is amazing. <laughs> if someone could just teleport my cats over here, don't tell Border Force, I might actually want to stay. <laughs> It's oh, heaven. Yeah. <laughs> a big emotional moment for us yesterday. Katie, do you want to talk about it? What what happened? All right, right. So when we were driving back back from Kingston, we drove past this field and I right, even knew immediately what it was, but I genuinely thought <clears throat> that it was like a big wooden, like cut out eagle. I was like, that's weird. We hadn't seen one on the way in. So have they just put it up? And then there were these two guys running to go take pictures. I was like, oh my God, it's actually real. Pulled the car in and it was like, we thought it was just the one massive bald eagle. Turned out there were two. And yeah, I mean, I knew they were big, but holy cow, it was huge. And uh, yeah, it flew off just as we were running up to go take pictures. But then we stood around for a few minutes and it flew back over yeah. a couple of times with his pal. And it was just surreal. I mean, uh, yeah, Arena, it was. It was absolutely magnificent. Can't believe that we saw something yeah. like that, that we're just so incredibly lucky to see. Not just one, but a breeding <laughs> pair of bald eagles just a few miles away from where we're staying. Um, and we're so glad that we managed. Well, you managed because my phone was playing, <laughs> playing up. Like, no, I didn't get And that I was like, so no, I didn't, I didn't get that footage. I just wanted to kind of see it swooping and didn't manage to get it. But you got some fantastic footage. So... <laughs> Again, we just we want to share as much of this um, adventure, this journey as we can with you while still having the opportunity to experience and integrate it ourselves. And um, because that can happen when you're you're blogging or recording things and you don't then live in the moment. Mm. And we don't want to have any regrets nope. from this trip at all. No, so we, we are trying to share as much as we possibly can so that you can feel involved because we fully appreciate that not everyone gets the opportunity to have um, the, you know, the experience that we are having yep. right now, um, but we we feel immensely blessed. We're having an incredible time. This is only our second morning here. <laughs> We're drinking our chat out and, and vanilla nice coffee. coffee. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So we saw the eagles. I have lived in Perthshire for over twenty years, mm -hmm. um, which is red squirrel country. Have I ever seen a red squirrel? I've never seen a red never squirrel. Seen a red squirrel in my life. First morning here again. You were you were napping. Yeah. I was up out on it. No shade. Uh, I was out on the the porch at the side, um, having an apple cider donut for breakfast. Because are you even doing Rhinebeck if you're not having apple cider donuts? I'm not queuing at Rhinebeck because we're we're limited for time there. So it was the one thing I wanted to do. The first corner store we walked mm -hmm. into. We found apple cider donuts. Right in front of us. <laughs> That's breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> so we, we did that. We've had some local ciders. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I was out having breakfast and this little tiny baby red squirrel just ran up and looked at me and even got a flag. So sorry, I'm going into Scots now. <laughs> got a fry. <laughs> ran off. It's like, I can't believe what I've just seen. You didn't initially believe me. Are you sure it's not yeah, chipmunk? Sure. <laughs> Because you've got chipmunks here as well. And then we saw chipmunks. Yeah. And I was like, I believe you. I, think, I do, I believe you. Uh, but then we saw another tiny little baby red squirrel and I was like, oh, they are tiny. They They're are so tiny. Cute. Um, and you, yeah, there's a definite difference between the two, but you've seen them both at the yeah, same time. It's really not like <laughs> mutant, boisterous, Scottish grey squirrels. Oh, there's still grey squirrels are, over there. Like, there are some grey squirrels. <laughs> but... Different, 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 <laughs> different type of squirrel <laughs> up in upstate That's New York. So it, we've seen that. So we've had, we've got in our, our garden here. So let's let's flip you around. I'm just like looking at all the trees. Yeah, at, <laughs> at what we're looking at just now. So that was the the first first squirrel sighting over there. <laughs> um, just kind of sitting sitting on the porch at the minute. <laughs> we've got apple trees in our garden. 
Maple tree. Maple tree. <laughs> That's the hot tub over there. We totally experienced that yesterday. <laughs> um, Irina is saying if you have time, Lily Moore Farm has alpacas <gasps> and llamas and all sorts of animals. Um, we'll see what we can do regarding time because we found a local net, net night. Yes. Okay, yep, yep. In Kingston. <laughs> and I believe that is going to be the plan tonight. So is that, I want to say that's Yarn Farm. I think it's Yarn Farm as opposed to Farm Yarn. Yarn okay. Farm. Yarn Farm. <laughs> in Kingston is a local yarn shop and wine bar. And they're having like a Rhinebeck sweater finishing party, gathering yarn farm thing yes. tonight. <laughs> so the plan being, all being well, we yep. fancy heading down there. Which would be lovely if any of you are about and want to kind of come and meet us. Probably won't do the full until nine o'clock at night because mm -hmm. the next few days are going to be intense. full on intense and we're being mindful of having enough energy to do it because <laughs> this is a marathon and not a sprint. Oh, I do have New a sleep yarn to coat. Yes, it's an adorable <laughs> shop. It's like we're already sold. You had us at yarn and wine. <laughs> So um, I think it's a 14 minute drive from where we are, according to Google yeah. Maps. So totally, totally doable. That might be 20 miles. Yeah. We did <laughs> hit up Kingston yesterday. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it was Sadie, Sadie Hades back home. And when we put the photo up of, of Joanne's, it's like the mothership, <laughs> which is hilarious. So it's like, tell me you are a fibre crafter in upstate New York. Mm -hmm. um, without telling me <laughs> you're a fiber crafter in upstate New York. So, went to Joanne's. We found a Joanne's. We located the fisherman's wool <laughs> in Joanne's. We're just 25% off at the minute. Mm. Not sponsored, not affiliated, mm -hmm. but we noticed it. And I was tempted because everyone seems to say on the podcast that it's really, really coarse. It does not feel coarse to me, but I wasn't picking up the cream. Um, maybe that might be different depending on the, the actual sort of natural blends. That was interesting. We Where did we go next? Dollar Tree. We went we to went Dollar Tree. All of the Halloween stuff. <laughs> we did. Um, we have probably eaten our body weight in candy corn. Oh, yeah. We, un we, under corn we understand. <laughs> we I understand now. <laughs> I get that it's like mom might you either love it or hate it, but well, yeah, we're the team love. So. <laughs> yeah, um, for those of you back in Scotland watching us who have never experienced mm -hmm. candy corn, I would say that the closest thing to it would be dolly mixtures. You know, mm. the fondant dolly mixtures. Um, yeah. Yes. Aye. Sweetie from our childhood. Yeah. Can you even still get dolly mixtures? I don't know, I've not seen them for years. Lizzie but, would know. Yeah, Lizzie. But yeah, Lizzie. <laughs> Lizzie, Lizzie, you're watching. I think I think Lizzie Drip, dripping may actually be watching. So she might we've, to go to work. <laughs> we've done that. We've done a few things. We did Walmart. We got mm -hmm. food. We thought, you know, we're, we're proper grown ups here. Um, let's go and get food. So the, <laughs> primarily we'll be cooking meals here, but we're going to try and eat out a couple of times yeah. as well. Really like the um, restaurant on the road. But yeah, so we, we had a, a bit of a picky meal with loads of It was delicious. Stuff. It was absolutely so, incredible. So, yeah. 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 It was good. I got to, to show off slightly. I did that. <laughs> um, you know, rather than buying fries or baked potatoes or, or things like that, you know, just doing your own, like chop up the potato your own. Olive oil, we bought we bought fancy olive oil. Olive yeah. oil, salt, <laughs> oregano, or oregano, because oregano. we're in the States now. <laughs> oh, I had to ask for tonic water, because I couldn't find it. And the lady looked at me like, what? <laughs> tonic water, for gin and tonic. And she went, oh, tonic water. And I was like, yeah, I don't know what I said. That sounded so different, but okay. <laughs> yeah, so we did that and got those in the oven as, as part of one of our sides. And it, it was great with um, the gin that Lara gave us to come across. And I was so stressed that that might have been smashed up when United smashed up my mm. suitcase. That's so an delicious. earlier story. Um, <laughs> Lizzie says, yes, yeah. you can get yes, you can still. Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. Yeah, so, yeah, what what a start to mm -hmm. our Woolen Folk and Rhinebeck um, thing. We're still waiting for a floor plan, um, which means we haven't been able to kind of properly finalise at this point our times for our mm -hmm. meet and greets. So I think we're just going to have to bite the bullet later on, set them, yep. and appreciate that Mookin's because we're at a different change. venue, we're at um, Forland Catskills for Woolen Folk, and... Um, my understanding is that the booths are across two different buildings and there will be some outside as well. 
So we don't know how long it's going to take our special guests to get from other obligations mm -hmm. and meetings and things that they have to yeah. get to us. So timings might be slightly off from what we publish, but we'll, we'll keep them as accurate as we can. And we thank you for your patience if you do happen to be waiting for someone and it takes them a little longer to appear. But we do have Irina from Fibre Chats. She'll be coming to our booth and you're watching <laughs> and we're so excited. Yeah. I cannot wait to meet you in person. Um, I'll need to check if you're doing hugs, if you're comfortable with hugs or not, because I, I do just want to kind of wrap you into my <laughs> arms and squeeze you. Um, we, I'll be meeting again for the third time. Um, Christopher from Cabin Boy Knits and I'll be meeting Jamie, the other guy, mm -hmm. for the second time. Mm -hmm. I saw them just weeks ago. So excited. Oh, We're so fast. excited. Oh yes, please squeeze me. <laughs> Done. Um, <laughs> so um, the Cabin Boy Knits and the other guy, they will be coming and doing a meet and greet at our stall as well as Arena. And then we've got uh, Meet the Scottish Podcasters. <laughs> Meet and greet happening as well. So Amy Palco from The Meaningful Stitch and Rebecca Clo, Crea Bea will also be coming over. And I think they'll be... They're on the plane right now. Yeah, they, yeah. they are on their second plane <laughs> right now. So really looking forward to seeing them. I think we might be catching up with them briefly mm -hmm. tomorrow if stars align at... An a, like another <laughs> trunk show thing that we, we've been invited to go to that I one, which is lovely. Um, pick up every stitch. Yeah. I think they've got <laughs> Mindrake. I want to say it's Mindrake Fibre Company. Um trunk show there so <laughs> I just love that really is kind of the, the proper kind of um, community aspect I know <laughs> community is something that is bandied about a lot but I do love the the fact that this is such a big area with yep. so much going on yep. that you know you could not physically fit everybody who wants to be part of Rhinebeck in the actual um, New York Sheep and Wool Festival. Yeah. So we've got all these sort of <laughs> pop-up things happening and we can, we can feel a disturbance in the force Well, it <laughs> feels like, like everybody in the industry <laughs> is is descending. And we know that's not fully true, but it is, it's very exciting to see what's going down mm -hmm. um, and to be part of it. And we want to thank you for supporting both of us. Yes, thank you. So if you don't, you're not aware of who this is, if you haven't watched any of our stuff before, this is Katie <laughs> from Celie McQueely. Um, she was a major sponsor um, of our event last year mm -hmm. and she's become a firm friend over the years from us working together. Seven Katie's years, come out, yeah, Katie's come out to, to support me because I physically can't do all this on my own. And yeah, we are just... Oh, we're nice so, driver. <laughs> you're so much more than, than that. <laughs> But we are so looking forward to just um, talking about the Scottish Yarn Festival, mm -hmm. the Scottish Will Producer Showcase. Um, oh, we've got yeah. our custom yarn, so we've we've got <laughs> samples of the skeins. We're not direct selling at the event because visas and things, um, but we do have samples you can purchase from our website. If you're a an LYS in New York or any anywhere in the, the US or North America and you want to come and see it um, yourself or you're a designer and you're interested in potentially working with us for pattern support in the future and want to see it in real life. We've got it in real life. We've got um, samples made up. We've had a fair amount of samples. <laughs> and we also have samples from some of our sponsors who have helped get us here as well by sponsoring the, the leaflets that we've got. So we've got leaflets about what it, all the different things that we, that we do that you can come and pick up. So we have samples in... Iona wool mm -hmm. and in Bow fiddle. fiddle yarns. We've got Wee County Yarns, mm -hmm. Kinross Four Ply. I've brought my shanty shawl with mm -hmm. me. We have some Uist wool samples as well. And we've got samples from the ta the Clan Tam by Fear City Knits, which has just been released. She's released it early. It's now available to it's purchase amazing. on Ravelry. So we've Absolutely got that. Gorgeous. Um and we've got samples in our own yarn. Um <laughs> by other designers such as The Unbeatable Hat by Max and Itter. Max and Itter, I am coming for you <laughs> with my bear hat. And get your hook on. <laughs> this is a Get Your Hook On special. And this is a, a get, your, get Your Hook On. So we brought Get Your Hook On, um, <laughs> which is your Sealy McWheelie. It's the Swirly McWheelie with the Sealy McWheelie yarn. <laughs> this is actually a free pattern. So if you're ever interested in doing mosaic crochet, don't know where to start, her patterns are incredible. Even I can do them and I'm not a crocheter. And uh, yeah, this is in Matt. Vintage Erin and I, oh, it's so small. <laughs> yeah, so we are absolutely repping and championing um, Scottish wool. Mm -hmm. Please take a leaflet. Yeah. If you see us, please take a leaflet. You've no idea the stress it's been to get these over. We have two and a half thousand leaflets. <laughs> 
turned out it was um, £1,500 cheaper to bring them in our luggage <laughs> than to have them printed 14 mm-hmm. minutes down the road. Mm-hmm. Um, it was absolutely ridiculous. So a decision was made. We brought I'm them. still aching from dragging them. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've got a hot tub. We'll sort that out. Um, we're not taking any leaflets back. <laughs> Come and take we're our leaflets. Um, but yeah, um, coffee's getting cold. <laughs> You'll just be thinking, what, what, what on earth? Um, it's going to be what? Is it the back of three back home now? Uh, yeah, it must be. Half past two, coming up for three uh, o'clock. Yeah, I got to three. Yeah, we're it's coming up for quite, yeah, we're coming up for nine o'clock here <laughs> in the morning. So we are going to finish scheduling. So, like I said, I've been up for a couple of hours. I've sent some emails. <laughs> I've sent some emails. I've been working. It's not. It's not just a holiday for us. You know, we we are also working. Um, with the emails this morning, we're reaching out and sort of confirming plans with people that we're supposed to be meeting outside of of Rhinebeck and Wilmfolk, and we're just yeah. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Once again, thank you for being part of our journey, for joining us on this, living through it vicariously with us, and we'll see you again soon. Yes. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <Cheerio. laughs>